right guys, it is another hot, sticky, yuck, smoky, miserable day here in the end times. <sighs> Bugs in a jar farm. Uh, we have somehow stumbled into, what is it now? Is it Thursday, August 26, 2021? Somewhere around there, so... Uh, <laughs> It's been a it, it's, it's been a hell of a morning uh, hearing from all of my adoring female fans. Uh, so while I'm sitting around waiting for Dulcinea, uh, Dulcinea, if you remember, it was August 24th, 25th, and 26th that you were toying around with being here. Dulcinea did not show up uh, on August 24th. But while I'm waiting around for Dulcinea. To come to her senses, I'm sitting here uh, just enjoying basking and the glowing love of all my female fans. So we're going to go to two, to two uh, love letters I have received. Now I haven't mentioned, and guys, this this fucking psycho bitch. She she really does deserve the c word, uh, but. Uh, Anyway, and we're not talking crone. This fucking. Uh, anyway, I, I'm some somehow, but because because I I actually have pity on this woman. You know she is. You know when someone is truly mentally ill, it, it's it's kind of mean to make fun of them. But I can't. Help it. This is Veronica Harris. I'm sure half of you down here in the Doomosphere, especially if you're male, have dealt with this fucking bitch. You know, she was around a few years ago, and I finally, I mean, she is one of the most toxic, nastiest, narcissistic, uh, good fucking God. She calls herself some kind of artist. Her, her art looks kind of like, uh, if you've ever seen those elephants, you know that they've trained to paint the elephants or chimpanzees. Anyway, she calls herself uh, some kind of fucking artist. She lives over there in Europe. I, I mean, this fucking psycho bitch. Uh, you know, e even by my my gauge of uh, of psycho bitches, Veronica Harris is in a is in a class of her own. And uh, so it was. I don't know how many years ago. I kicked this fucking bitch off of both of my channels. I banned her from Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles for just being the fucking nastiest. She, I'm trying to think of I ever met. I, I mean, she puts Pauline Love, uh, you know, compared to Veronica Harris. Pauline Love is uh, is the fucking hugging nun, you know. I mean, she she truly deserves her own category of nastiness. So I kicked this fucking psycho bitch off of both my channels, and uh, so she she begged and begged. So this is the this is the. Email, but I I, ne I never kicked her off my emails because I did not ban her from my emails because she is so entertaining. So this is an email I received from Veronica on April 18, 2020. Hi Sam, will you accept my comments again? Because I think it is about time you lifted that ban. Yes, lifted that ban. I don't know how long I had banned this fucking bitch, but because I'm such a nice guy, <clears throat> I won't swear or be rude. I promise. I won't swear or be rude. I promise. I will only leave intelligent comments. I follow you on both your channels and appreciate the work you do. Kind regards, Veronica. So uh, anyway, because I'm such a nice fucking guy, uh, like a goddamn idiot, I go and, and let this fucking C word back on my channels. I, I let her back uh, on both my fucking channels. 
And uh, so for the past year and three months, Veronica has been somewhat nice. I've probably received about a dozen emails from Veronica over the last 16 months, you know, just mainly sending me links and stuff to uh, talk about. So I open up my email today and I have this love letter. And, and, and I really don't know what elicited it. I can't remember if Veronica is an ass-licking toady or not. I kind of feel like that guy and uh, Pauline have also banned this fucking nasty, toxic, psycho bitch off of their channel. So I don't, I honestly don't know if this is from my, uh, my uh, videos I did about Pauline Love, as I say, Pauline uh, it, it, it is fucking uh, St. Uh, Teresa, uh, Mother Teresa, compared to this fucking bitch. Okay, it is titled, You Have Full-Blown NPD. NPD, I think, means Narcissistic Personality Disorder. You have full-blown NPD. You need help. You seem to like hating everyone and filming it. But if anyone dares to pull you up, uh, you know, talking about uh, Pauline, uh, going back, talking that fucking horse shit about when I met her for a couple of hours four years ago. But if anyone dares to pull you up on it, they get it between the eyes. I have watched most of your videos. You have an ongoing love-hate relationship with fictitious characters in your small, online, stupid, idiotic world. You like to divide and rule like a bully in a school playground. In fact, you credit you ridiculed me when I showed you your mirror. Yes, you ridiculed me when I showed you. That's talking about all of this other toxic fucking ad hominem attacks. You, you notice uh, Veronica never talks about. Uh, she is the fucking queen of the ad hominem attack. Veronica Harris never talks about what the video is about. Uh, I, I am not the only one who has gotten it uh, full bore from this fucking bitch. Uh, she does, she has no interest in talking about the video. All she likes is her ad hominem attacks. <clears throat> in fact, you ridiculed me when I showed you your mirror. Yes, uh, well to the, I guess to the extent, yeah, your mirror. So I guess what she is doing by saying she showed me my mirror that she is claiming everything she is saying about me is true of her. You are a narcissist and a moron with a capital M, moron. And then you like to say you care about our planet. You are insane in the membrane. <laughs> you, are, you are insane in the membrane. How do you get up every day and switch on that camera, bitch, and spout utter shit day in and day out? You are pathetic. <laughs> yeah, so once again, I'm going to have to get this fucking cunt. Let's call her what she is. Once again, this fucking cunt is gonna get barred from both of my fucking channels because she has no interest in talking about anything I have to say about anything about this fucking planet. It is toxic cunts like Veronica Harris that this planet is in the shape it is in. But anyway, as long as I'm reading love letters, Veronica, you were not the first psycho bitch to, uh, to send me a love letter. You actually came in second because I don't know if you guys remember when I, when I first got up here, 
back in May, I had actually been talking with this woman on Pile of Fish uh, dating site. You know, even when I was down in uh, down in Florida, I had been talking to this woman. I can't remember what she told me her name was. Uh, I've forgotten what her fucking name, I'll call her Lulu, uh, saying that her name was Lulu and that she lived in Cortland, New York, and most importantly that she was 62 years old. So this 62 year old woman, she's a little bit old for me. But anyway, I liked her profile, and uh, although I didn't think I would have any interest in sticking my dick in her, she sounded like she might make a, a good friend, I, although she wasn't a doomer chick. So uh, I started this correspondence with her, so we have plans to meet up. So, you know, we make plans to get together, and right before I'm leaving the house, she calls and cancels the plan. She reschedules it for the next week. <clears throat> so uh, I get all set uh, to go up there, and, and I'm driving. From here to Cortland is, well, uh, she's another 10 minutes beyond uh, Brother Jade. So she's right about an hour. So I was going to drive about an hour and bring lunch and bring a bottle of wine to meet this 62-year-old uh, woman on Pile of Fish. Right when I'm leaving the fucking house, th th this woman calls and flakes out on me again. And so, uh, we, uh, shall we say, we ended the relationship there. So that was back in May. Well, I'm on a pile of fish a few nights ago. I am on pile of fish, and, uh, and I noticed that this 72-year-old woman named Katie from some town I had never heard of uh, had viewed my profile and uh, so I always like to check out the women who have viewed my profile and she actually Katie actually sounded uh, like a nice woman but you know she's 72 fucking years old I had no interest and uh, even getting to know, much less stick my dick in, some fucking 72-year-old bag. Uh, so I didn't want to hurt her feelings. So we got to go over to Pile of Fish. I might have to, uh, I might have to get back in the shade. So this woman, Katie, what she does is she blurred out the details of her 72 year old wrinkled up old prune face where you couldn't see the wrinkles on her face i mean it was really sad uh, you know pile of fish is truly one one of the most tragic places on the planet so she you know, she blurs out her face so you can't see all her wrinkles and uh so anyway, I sent her, so since she had taken the time to view my profile, I wrote Katie this note. Katie, thank you for being the first woman that has inspired me enough to say hi to in the past three months. Keep up the good fight. Uh, that was a, a, a very polite way of telling this 72-year-old bag that, uh, you know, it's too bad that I wasn't 10 or 12 years older, but uh, it's, it's called uh, giving somebody the brush off. Uh, and, uh, so this is the first response I get back. Hi, hope you're doing well these days. I was very upset with you when you attacked me for being a mom, yes, for being a mom to my son who needed me. This was her 27-year-old son who needed a ride, blah, 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 blah. And that is why I decided to stop conversing with you. So what you are saying now has no value to what I had thought was a possible meetup 
even though I had to cancel twice. You have a very selfish way about you and do not understand what the point is, and I do not understand what the point is regarding your thank you, but I did take what you had said, you know, previously, personally, as my family is my first priority, not some stranger on this unforgiving Wi-Fi meetup crap. So I got this note yesterday morning, and so I responded now to this new woman named, this new 72-year-old woman named Katie. What? You aged 10 years in the past four months? I could swear you told me you were 62 years old four months ago. But then every woman on this site is a lying sack of shit. It is ironic that you were the first woman in three months that inspired me to even say thank you since I last heard from you. I just did not recognize you as the same person as you now claim you are 72 years old, not 62, and I have no interest in an old crone. Good luck, darling. Don't let the sharks bite. And I sent that, and as soon as I sent that off, I regretted calling her an old crone because I actually do like old crones. If you, uh, the word crone, when you really investigate what the word crone means, it's actually not a pejorative term, it's a compliment, but I'd already sent the message and so I felt bad about insulting old crones by lumping uh, this wrinkled up ugly bitch uh, in with the old crone, but I let it lie. So this morning I wake up and here is my love letter waiting for me. This was sent at 3.40 a.m. At 3.40 a.m., the now Katie is on, uh, is on Pile of Fish on this Wi-Fi meetup crap looking to uh, who can, she can lie to next. And this is what she wrote me at 3.40 this morning. Ha, ha, ha. And you look like an old crone especially the one with that pup, that pup on your lap. And you talk like a fool, fuck off. And I feel sorry for anyone that would have to listen to you on a daily basis. Being of an obtuse mentality and so stuck on himself, that there is no room for any sort of understanding of how arrogant and ridiculous you truly sound. I thank the good Lord that we never met up with that. We never met up. I guess there's two of them. I guess, I, I, I guess she means the 72 year old woman, Katie, and her 62-year-old kid sister, Lulu. I thank the good Lord that we never met up with you. You are a sad man. So my uh, response to that this morning before opening up my email and finding that love letter from uh, that fucking cunt to Veronica Harris, this is my answer to now Katie. So, that confirms it. It was. So that confirms it, meaning that you were uh, lying about being 62 uh, years old. So that confirms it. You are a lying little cunt like all the rest of the lying sack of shit bitches on this site. I actually like and have some respect for old crones. It is lying, broken down, old bags who cannot even be honest about something 
like their age that makes me want to puke. The soft focusing out of your wrinkled old face was an especially creative and pathetic touch, but you are an enter but you are entertaining in your declining years. I will hand you that much, darling. Yes, yeah, she is very entertaining. So uh, anyway, I am sitting around waiting for Dulcinea to. Uh, <laughs> so Dulcinea, I am still here. Uh, me and the little pup are still here. But now uh, that I've heard from all my loving, adoring female fans, and it is we're starting to fry in the sun, and a little dog and I are going to head over to the shade and head over to Collapse Chronicles and uh, hang up our fictitious character hat, our fictional character hat, and uh, see what that little eco pussy who would never call Veronica Harris a cunt, uh, Sam Mitchell has to say about the collapse of a planet today. I think we'll head over to Afghanistan coming up in one minute. All right, little guy, dog, we're going over to the shade. Get out there and enjoy your own love letters. And all you ladies, if you want me to share your love letters, uh, just send me a love letter and I will gladly read your love letter and uh, see but you, you're gonna have some fucking competition with with Veronica Harris. Uh, you really have to dig deep into the psycho bitch territory to cross the C word line, even with a fictional uh, narcissist such as him on Little Tail. But give it your best shot because I do love reading your love letters by ladies. All right, we're gonna move into the shade. Jesus, it's hot, sticky, shit. Oh, man. All right. I think we're going to go into the screen house for the next. A nice shady screen house for our Collapse Chronicle rant. 